Cancer. Tell me the answers, baby. It is Mira. It is Shiva. It is Vibra. It is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it again. One time for the one time to let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of February 2021. Baby, we in here to have some fun. Shout out to all my OGs. Shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to every last one of my babies who have liked, shared, and subscribed and has clicked this video. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support that you guys have been showing me if you guys would like to support the channel or book a personal and private reading the only thing you need to do is click the description box of this video or check out the about tab on my youtube page it gives the pricing list how to connect with me on instagram messenger if you do not have instagram messenger just simply shoot me an email at scorpionreds at gmail.com and i help get you all set up you know for a private reading and we'll be all good to go again shout out to all my babies who have just been, you know, showing love, sending page donations, checking out the Amazon wish list. I thank you so much for all of the love and support. And we about to get into some tea today, you guys. So <clears throat> I hope you got yours because I sure got mine, honey. So listen, let's buckle up our seatbelts. Let's give God praise and thanks first off before we get into anything. So you know how we do on my page, y'all by your heads. Let's just, you know, give God thanks real quick. So, Father God, thank you so much for coming in here and just collecting us right now for the sign of cancer, Father God. You know, we always search for the answers and looking for that inner clarity, Father God. We thank you so much for putting so many pleasant fruits and just, you know, abundant meats and breads and just fine wines on our table, Father God. We've just been really, really just been um, feeling this overwhelming feeling of abundance and just family and just love and just, you know, creatorship right now we are creating a lot of things father god there's a lot of entrepreneurship energy just brewing up in cancer right now father god we got a lot of just ideas going on in our head we're needing to write it down and like really implement it um i don't know why i'm feeling like some type of adrenaline some type of drive just going on right now we just want to make sure that we're utilizing these energies in the best way possible and just let thy not be distracted in any way father god we are just trying to bring all of these plans all of these plans into fruition father god because we've been really sitting up there dedicating our time internally figuring out what it is that we want how we want to go there you know just the ins and outs and just the whole picture with all of the colors all of the just everything you know so we're just trying to live in a life of just plentifulness father god and happiness and just peace so we just thank you so much for just helping us usher that joy and um having the resilience the resilient oh i can't even say it the resilience to work and strive towards that father god please give us the guidance that we need today and every day in jesus name we pray amen amen and amen all right so let's get into this cancer let's see what we got let's see what we got to all right so let's get some guidance for cancer for february 2024 That's that okay, so I'm getting partnerships. They saying partnerships and creatorships. Like you're just like I don't know if you're trying to um like network to work on something with somebody. It's like you have to drive the momentum and the creative ideas. You just need someone to help you bring it to life. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like you wanna be the talent. They need to be the management. Like, is that making any sense? Like, you just need someone to help you bring it together. It's like you really cannot do it all by yourself. What is this? Positivity. I like that. Come on now. And I like those birds. Remember I was saying, like, networking, communication, creatorship, partnership. Hmm. What's under this? And under the deck is despair. So it looks like you guys have 
got over something. I feel like you guys were over treating the wound. And it was like, have you ever had a wound? And it's like you keep putting Neosporin and keep putting a bandage on it like every day. <laughs> it's like instead of letting it wound heal and dry and and so it can develop a scab you keep moistening it up you keep treating it treating it with all the, it don't need that no more it just need air and you know what i'm saying i feel like you realize that you guys were over treating the room and you guys are like over that like that's at the bottom of the deck <laughs> do you see what i'm saying that shit is beneath you baby do you understand what i'm saying you guys are like so over that like you're so healed on it, you don't even see any damage. You don't even see, like, you know. And it's like, instead of you putting all of that treatment on trying to let it heal when it was healing naturally, now you're doing it by just taking care of yourself, lotioning yourself, you know what I'm saying, taking care of your skin, but you don't see no marks, you don't see no traces of nothing that it was that you were going through, so you're definitely not going through anything right now, there's a lot of positivity, a lot, and again, look, you see that worker bee right there, I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all are in some type of like creative spirit, or it's like you're working very hard, you guys could have been possibly working through the whole coronavirus, it's like you never stopped working, and at the same time, You've still had the luxury because y'all still been getting your stimulants. You still been get. It's like y'all still been receiving blessings, meeting new people, new connections, and something where you're going to be creating something. Hmm. It says if you can find even one thing to be grateful for, it will restore your light. Please, dear God, let me always feel gratitude for something, even a tiny thing. And even the hardest situations. Hmm. There's okay, so I'm just getting it's like something is going was going on, but it's like you still but you still working. Like whatever was going on, it's like but you still been blessed to be working throughout the situation. So it's like that I'm thankful for. It's like you never stopped working, whoever this is. It's like you've never stopped working. Like, thank God for that. So I don't know if it's like someone having to tell you that if someone was going through a moment of despair. It's like, keep on working and working towards something. Because it's like you are moving forward. Something is positively coming through. Especially in the springtime. Now I'm hearing the day. <laughs> Where did this come from? The birds are chirping. <laughs> Where did that come from? I don't know if that was like on the show or something. But someone was singing some stupid ass song. Talk about the birds is chirping. Mm. Oh, and, and then understand that people are always going to be talking about you too. Especially like people okay you got the death card you better come on through listen let there be peace laying something to rest transformation transforming child i was trying to say <laughs> that was a mixture transforming transforming and transformation together child listen the five of inspiration that's like the five of wands it's like and then the full in the reverse. Okay, I like this. So this is definitely a moment where um you were going through some level of there was some struggle here. There most definitely was a struggle because you have the five of wands in the reverse, like the five of inspiration, the five of wands in the reverse, the death card. And the fool in the reverse. So it's like you're not going to allow anybody to take you for no fool. And it's like you're not going to continue to be thrown and be off hinged by some type of um, narcissistic fulfillment to have some level of drama going on. I don't know whose level. Do you know, have y'all ever been around people? It's like. They can't ever just welcome peace into their life. There's always some level mischief, a level of mischief afoot, or some type of drama, or 
gossip or it's like something going on and it's like I'm I'm over that um so if there was certain people arguing about you in some type of battle if there was some type of disagreement that you were in and it's like you were it it it's something where it's like it was almost like a foolish attempt to continue to repair, get people to work together, get people to see eye to eye, some level of agreements or something. It's like, now nah, I'm over that because in good faith, I was trying to put this together. I was trying to make it work. We, I was trying to get everyone to sit because i don't know why i'm getting like a round table discussion it's like a lot of people sitting together trying to compromise or come to some type of settlement i don't know if it's like a court case some type of agreement um it's some type of negotiation where people it's too many people before with, with the same goal but all different agendas and it's like it was foolish of me before to continue to try to, um, it's like I mishandled my energy, you know? And because of my foolish attempts, I kept getting thrown off my path. When I was having a good day, people were catching me off guard with their bullshit, bringing me now into some shit that I don't even have nothing to do with. It's like craziness, you know what I'm saying? Something that was like throwing you off of your path and you realize it's like, Maybe it was my own foolish attempts and my own foolish faith that I believed that I could get everyone to have a level head and agree on something. I'm not that foolish anymore. You know, I feel like a level of inspiration that has come from you from stepping away from this situation. Um, I don't even feel like you're talking to anybody anymore. I feel like there's a complete silence. You took some time to yourself to kind of mourn. Because uh, you really did, in good faith, have all of the right intentions. But for all of the for all of the wrong reasons, things didn't work. And it's cool. It's like you learned a lot. You know, you learned a lot. So, with that, I walk away. And I walk away with positivity and grace. And still. And again. This stressing like you still been able to continue your work. And you've been working the whole time. And, and you're definitely making positive connections. And you're changing your possibilities. So just continue to move forward. And keep the lines of communication open. And keep your eyes on the prize. And just continue working. Like things are changing. Something uh, where there was a struggle, there wasn't any type of resolution in the past. There's one coming. And sometimes the best resolution is to just listen. Let's just let it go. Let's let it go. Um, it's sometimes it's not about you waiting for other people to change. It's you that needed to change. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was you that needed to change. You know what I'm saying? And, um, it's opening different doors for you, most definitely. Especially when you walk away from conflict, you walk towards people that communicate more the same like you. Not these constant battles and negotiations and things. It's like you're walking away from the stress and walking into the blessed. Do you understand what I'm saying, Cancer? So let's get guidance and love. They're saying like you have a positive influence over people, especially like if it's um if it has anything to do with a company, like you could be like um the employee of the month or something like that. Um and it's like your employer could be talking about you, um, like the other staff, like how hard you work and things like that. You may be able to see like the success coming very soon. Um, there are talks about you, like positive talks about you, because in some way, you are not a fool. Like, you definitely do. It's like you don't engage in 
conflict and drama and you know what I'm saying like you're always the one that's trying to be the level headed one trying to negotiate trying to make everyone be friends and things and it's like they see you being like the peacemaker and like I want to say they see like a level of maturity of growth you know like you may not be like if you were in a work situation where you were hanging out with like a bad crowd of people or just like people that was like slackers and stuff like you may have repositioned yourself and you may not associate with your, with these people like that anymore and it's like the people around you are glad to see that because you're not like them anyway you're the busy bee you're the one that always brings out the good work product so it's like it didn't make sense for you to associate with those type of characters anyway so it's like now that they see you not having so much faith in and trying to hang with this wrong crowd here because i don't know why i'm feeling like it's like a gossipy chatty patty like group of people at work or something like people that be having shit going on and blah 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 duh, 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 always arguing bullshit it was like you were different you got picasso here so again just all bucks i'm just getting like you definitely have a different vision of yourself. You're painting a completely, something completely abstract, something different. It's like you have your own, I don't know, it's like, do you have like a calligraphy style of writing? I, I don't know why I'm getting someone still writes in cursive or something like that. It's like you're, you're very fancy, like calligraphy, very beautiful handwriting. I don't know where I'm getting that. It's like, I don't know, someone's about to bring, like, handwritten notes back or something like that. Like, damn, that's sexy as shit. Like, legit. Like, that would be legit. I don't know why the other day I was looking at waterbeds, too. Like, that is so retro. <laughs> like, who the fuck has waterbeds anymore? But, like, who writes, like, who legitimately hand writes in some sexy ass, like, calligraphy style like cursive handwriting with like the perfume sprayed on the page with the with the beautiful lip print at the bottom who does that anymore can we bring sexy back come on y'all know valentine's day is coming up come on come on cancer bring it out come on it says make seduction your greatest work of art i told you that's how i'm trying to tell you <laughs> Finesse the ooh, it says make seduction the greatest art of work. Begin all affairs with good intentions. Remember, it's not age, it's experience. Ooh, cancer. <laughs> ooh, ooh, you said it's not about the age, it's about the experience. You said I'm seasoned for a reason, baby. I'm seasoned like Laurie's, baby. Listen, you better stop playing. I'm seasoned like Laurie's, baby. You better catch up, child. Listen. Ooh, begin all affairs with good intention. Listen, he began an all affairs. <laughs> okay, why am I feeling? Okay, cancer. Okay, let me back it up a little bit. Let me back it up a little bit. Cancer, what you getting into, cancer? Ooh, there's, there's someone. It's like... It's like cancer's been eyeing you or, or someone's been eyeing this cancer. It's like a work of art. It's like this person, the way that they feel like they see you, they see you like no one else could possibly see you. Like, it's no way no one else could see you the way that they see you. Like, you're so beautiful or you're so handsome. And it's like, you don't even need to put on no clothes. It's like... You're beautiful, even like if you got a little weight on you. It's like this person literally loves every single curve, your silhouette. I don't know, like whoever this is, I feel like there's someone that likes um, thicker women. You know what I'm saying? Like loves the curves, loves very big breasts and, you know, thick hips. and thick. Look, it's something about big breasts and thick thighs make the dick rise. Come on, y'all be, ooh, ooh, ooh. Y'all better stop. Mm -mm. Y'all better stop. Y'all, I'm trying to say, it's like you don't even need no coals on the to listen. Straight, straight nakedness in a scarf. Like, just, just, okay. Like, just, just lay right there. I got you. Like, I got to take a picture. I don't know. It's like, 
it's something about pictures, a lot of pictures. I don't know if this person has a lot of pictures of you, likes looking at your pictures, wants to take pictures of you. If they're a painter, if they just like pictures or something like that. I'm definitely getting like, oh, and oh, you see that bull down there at the bottom too? I feel like whoever this is, it's like they make sex like a, it's not like a raging bull, but it's like powerful. It's like they will look you in your eyes. They want to see you coming. Like whoever this is, oh, why am I talking all of this, cancer? Y'all so nasty. It's like this person. They like to watch you as you come type of thing. It's like your facial expressions. It's like maybe sex to you. Or maybe sex to them. It's like a work of art. It's like art. It's like, um, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just getting like a sexual experience where I'm just staring at this bull, bruh. This bull right here, baby right here is just giving me just like very masculine just like kind of grab you up and just throw you around and just like want to see your ass cheek shake just want to see you like this the type of motherfucker that fuck you so good and watch you lay there and your body tremble afterwards like yeah i did that like that's this though <laughs> Karen, so i don't know who you fucking with oh who you just on or what's going on there but honey it is just like mm -mm. It's like just watching you lay there trouble. It's like that work of art. Like, oh, you're dirty. <laughs> God, let me get out of this. I can't. Give me three cards for cancer, please. Ooh, Lord. Y'all terrible. Ooh. You got the chaser in the reverse. Hold on. Y'all said I ain't running no more. You got the cassette. Okay. All right. Ooh, someone said, I'm not, I don't feel like running around no more. I need something consistently on a replay. Yes, God. It's like every day I could paint a perfect picture with you. Ooh, Lord Jesus, you got the girl with the snake. Now, what does this got to do with anything? Being charmed, used, enabled, boundaries. Ooh. Child, so we got the cassette. So this could be. But, but, I, but, oh, but I did say it was like someone sending like handwritten notes or. I was looking at that as like a, in, a, in a business sense. But it is like some kind of like seduction, like something. Girl, I don't know. Oh. I don't ever like the girl with the snake card, y'all. She give me side bitch tease. Like, she really, really do. She give me the girl that, again, that's on the side that is getting charmed by this manipulator and has no idea what she's getting wrapped up in. You know what I'm saying? Like, legitimately. So, I don't know. Ooh, give me one more because I'm nosy, bitch. No, ooh. Ooh, 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 Kansas City, y'all be, be wanting, making me want to go get my other decks and stuff. Healing heart. Okay. 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 So, there's someone here. The one that's going through this place where they're in a positive, they're in a positive state. You got the death card here, you know, so it's like they definitely let something pass and move on. They're no longer a fool. They don't have any faith in it. They're not jumping out, you know, just doing the things that they used to do anymore. Um, I don't even, it, there's, there's no negotiation. There's no, you know, being caught off guard with foolishness no more. I remove myself from the equation, healing heart positive involvements going on in this person so 
I want to say this person is out of the picture. This person is out of the picture. The chaser is in a reverse. So it's like this person cannot be going towards whoever this, this Picasso is anymore. They're not chasing this person no more. Um, the girl with the snake. It's like they could have been like manipulated or charmed by sex or something like that. Completely. And especially with that snake wrapped around her. It could have like someone could have definitely had a hold over someone in regards to sex. Like this could be something that that's playing over and over and over and over in someone's head, I definitely don't feel like it's hers. It has to be this Picasso. Pablo. Pablo Picasso. It's like, I want to say it's like someone is like constantly looking at someone's picture. Or it's like they got this idea or this picture of you now. That you're not chasing towards them no more. It's like... I feel like this person used to have you wrapped up with their sex. Their sex. It's like their sex. It's like something about something being played over and over and over and over and over again. Over and over and over and over again. And they, okay, they're like the perfect picture of art. It's, I don't know if it's like him watching this girl heal. It's like watching her heal. She's so beautiful. Bruh. And then you got the soulmates at the end, at the bottom of the deck. Y'all. So I don't know if it's like. Okay. So they're like, no one can truly see the picture that I see of her. It's because he knows why she is this way. I want to say he knows even like her sex style. He seen how strong it was. It took for her to stop chasing and to focus on herself and to heal and to really it's like she could have ended this. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever the fuck this is. But this is something where it's like, and I want to say for whoever this female is or whoever this male is, however the situation plays out for you, I want to give you respect because right now you are being the perfect picture of art because that is the most seductive thing to really get a motherfucker is by not allowing them to get you, allowing a motherfucker to watch you and be mesmerized and you know what I'm saying? To keep their ass at a safe distance. Especially if you feel like. You're having to chase after them. I will not. Nor will I be charmed. And manipulated. Or you know. Mm -mm. If that's what you think you're going to do. You can watch me from Instagram. And you can beat your dick. And you can think about it. <laughs> like, I'm so serious. And you can let that memory and that thought play over and over and over in your mind. I will not chase after you. At all. Like, I will not do it. Make seduction the greatest work of art. The best thing for you to do is be the one that they can't catch. That's the one that's always in their mind. The one that they can't have. The one that they, the one that ain't chasing after them. You understand? So, it's like, your respect for yourself, your dignity, because especially when they know that they have the ability to just wrap women up or if a woman knows that she could wrap a man up or her you know sexual abilities or whatever whatever and it's like you're not allowing them to do that or it's like you were strong enough to like walk away and not be charmed like that it's like this shit is playing over it's like the one like that's the one that beat me do you feel me or that's the one that is like it's like that's why that bull is there it's like that's the, that, that one is the challenge. You know what I'm saying? Like that is the, it's something about your respect for yourself, your dignity, your need to 
take care of yourself and not let certain things confuse you. You know what I'm saying? Because you could very much so look be char being charmed or use enable boundaries. You can easily be like that, but what that said at the end, boundaries. Listen, boundaries. I will not chase you. <laughs> Ciao, bye. We'll go over there and fix myself and be okay. Now, let's see. What else is going on? Okay. Y'all just want to do it like that, okay? That's what you want to do, Cancer. That's what you want to do, Cancer. You got the seven of chalices in the reverse, okay? You got the four of swords. Oh, yes. This is definitely someone that's by they so oh you got the two of chalices you got the devil in the reverse in the name of jesus yes god okay and then you have the knight of swords and then you got the four of chalices in the reverse so let's looky 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 we got us a new cookie we got us a new cookie so where we're at right here cancer you guys have definitely had some soul searching you've had like a multitude of choices you can definitely see here with the devil in the reverse y'all have already been through like the whole karmic affair bullshit you've already been through it you've tried it you've had it like it's like you're thankful to god that you were able to like block that shit out of your life and remove yourself out of that and be rid of it like for good this time you know what i'm saying like i know what i want now i want true love with this two of cups i want true commitment I want it to come in divine timing. I ain't rushing shit because I know the connection is always going to connect in the right time when it's meant to happen. So as I continue to heal myself and grow and learn from my experiences, listen, it ain't it ain't going to kill me <laughs> to shed old skins and to grow. I tell y'all a lot of times snakes represent wisdom in a lot of different cultures. Snakes represent wisdom. What do they do? They change. It's a physical difference. You can see as they're growing. You can see old remnants of they're not in that old skin no more. They're bigger than that yet. I'm bigger than that now. I'm wiser. I'm stronger. I'm more talented now. I have more talent than I did last season. I'm different now. I can defeat way bigger obstacles, way bigger challenges. I could walk away from things that, hmm, number one, um, being charmed and manipulated and used and realizing it's a very, very hard thing to look in the mirror and, and, and recognize yourself for allowing yourself to be wrapped up in it. And especially when it feel good. Hmm? For a period of time because it don't always feel good it's very temporary feeling of pleasure with the devil here do you understand what i'm saying but when you're wrapped up in that and engulfed in that passion it feels so good sometimes when you're going through the hardest parts of it it make you forget about how bad the situation it is just to have that temporary uh, sensation of feeling good being able to walk away from that it's the strongest thing that you could ever do. So, this seven of cups right here represents somebody that says, you know what? I've been through enough to recognize I'm bad enough by myself and on my own with that, with that uh, four swords. I maybe need a little bit more time to think and be by myself. Like this winter, I'm chilling indoors and I'm hibernating. I don't need no boo thing to be sitting up in here. I ain't trying to get pregnant. You know what I'm saying? With the wrong nigga. You, do you understand what I'm saying? Like, that's the dumb sh Okay, so the seven, this seven of cups with this four swords right here is basically telling me, like, I've been through that journey before feeling like I needed someone the wrong one, just anybody, just to make me feel whole and just to have options. Listen, I have several options. 
But if it ain't the right one, I'd rather be by myself. Like, I'm so cool with myself. I have everything that I need. I'm safe this winter. I really don't need nobody with me. I'm actually cool by myself at this time. Honestly and truly. Because at the end of the day, just like I'm telling you, if it's the wrong thing, I'd rather be left alone. Because I'm going to tell you right now, I don't got time for the bullshit. And if you're coming to me with anything toxic, I'm going to tell you the truth. Listen, I was in here chilling by myself. Working on myself, like rebuking all of those negative spirits, like working on uh, any type of negative addictions or just me being attracted to the wrong thing. Me having to look myself in the mirror and tell myself that's wrong. You don't need that no more. And you could be dealing with a lot of toxic people from your past coming back that is reminding you of where you were yesteryears and you in your house chilling. You like, hey man, look, <laughs> I done cut you out. I, I, I walked away from that so long. Like, don't be calling me. Don't reach out to me. If you didn't understand that I want to be by myself and I definitely, listen, it's not that I want to be by myself. You know what I'm saying? If it ain't right, Night, night. I don't got, I don't have it to do. So I don't have time for nothing from the past or nothing currently in the, in the, in the, uh, present. If it's nothing but pleasure and it don't have any other engagement or any other stability, if it don't have stability to it and it's negative and toxic anyway, I'm cutting it off. So you guys can like legitimately be looking at Everything that you have right now, figuring out like what is it that is around me that is negative that I need to get rid of. And you may be cutting it off right now. You may be doing a hibernation and a, like a cleansing because it's like I don't want to be used. I don't want to be manipulated. I don't want just because someone has good sex that they can control me. And then also like the Knight of Swords is like being justified in like your argument. Like you may not be nice in telling people how you feel, you know. So it's like because you're... You are awake now. You have awakened. It's like you might have sat inside and waited for too long for things to get better, continuing to allow certain opportunities to pass you by. Why, you know, you were focused on temporary sensations that it just bring you more drama than blessings. It's just like. Again, this is like purging the things that you don't like about yourself. And it's mainly like what you've been attracted to. What you've been attracted to. Because with that cassette, now I'm going to this cassette. Because if you see how this cassette is here. The seven of chalices. Like this is someone could be getting rid of a drinking problem. Like you may not want to date people that drink anymore. Well, I feel like y'all running from someone that has a drinking problem or it's like someone is working on a drinking problem. It's like someone's working on personal addictions. It's like cleaning certain shit up so you can have better options, better choices. It's like if I could be honest to myself about things that I need to change about myself, I could look at you in your face and tell you why you're negative in my life and why I don't want you around. And that's just on period. I'm sober. You know what I'm saying? Like. Some type of sober living. Some type of, uh, again, they like saying sobriety. It's like, I don't want that anymore. It's like, whatever it is that you've been feeding me, whatever it is that you've been putting in my cup, it's like, I don't want it anymore. It's, it's something about you guys want a healthy marriage. Someone that you don't have to chase. Somebody that you don't have to constantly look after. It's like... It's, yeah, it's like someone that you don't constantly have to look after, like worrying about if they're making mistakes, if you got to clean their shit up. Um, gosh, what is all of that about? 
What is all of that about? What is all of that about? It's something about the perfect picture. It's about the artist seduction. It's about bringing um, an old art form back a little bit. Like people don't court each other anymore. They don't write notes. They don't tell each other that they love them. They don't have like a theme song. You know, like back in the day, like when you, just like back in the day, back in my day, you would date someone and in y'all little relationship, y'all little relationship had a theme song. Like that was y'all song. Like I can still go back and find old letters uh, or, or birthday cards. It's just like, well, people really sat down and wrote and told you that they love you. You can tell that they really sat down and thought about and put their emotions into some shit. It's like, I don't want something fast and it's just sex lace. No, I'm, well, I'm saying sex and drug lace. Yeah, sex and drugs lace because it's like, I don't know why it's like, I'm kind of getting like, only thing we do is sit around, drink, smoke cigarettes, play cards, just do, just, it's like not really living life. It's like, this is like, I don't know. It's just like people just lay in the house and fuck and get drunk, smoke, and drink and just like argue and I don't know it's just like not positive I don't know why it's like you guys can't like have it's like tattoo tears it's like someone has tattoo tears on their body it's like a whole bunch of tattoos of X's or stuff like that all over their body or like marks all over their body or something from like yeah like tattoo tears but there's someone over here that's healed. Like there's not even a scar. There's not even a wound. This person is not even mourning anymore. Like at all. At all. So it's like. When you really put the focus on yourself. And what it is that you're really trying to attract. I want to attract love. So. I do want that theme song I don't want to have to chase I want one option I don't want someone that's out there gallivanting that feel like they gotta have several different things to fulfill them I want someone that knows that they want me and I want them that's why it's like I wanted to make sure that I was done with all of this bullshit like I'm done with it I don't want it anymore. I'm bored with it. I'm so, I'm sober. There's nothing that can give me a temporary sensation that I want or that I need. I need love. Bottom line. One option. No chasing. No manipulation. If anything, I was the one that set boundaries. Okay? I'm the one that set boundaries. And I, it's like it's it's like a love. It's like something that over and over and over again, over and over and over again, you can look at that same face over and over and over again and still be in love, still be in love, and still be in love. And again, it's something about when I was reading this man, this energy off of this man. It's like their passion for someone. It's like. A raging bull. It's like they just have so much sexual energy that they just want to express towards someone. And again, it's like looking at someone's pictures as if this person is like a work of art. Beautiful. Um, beautiful. I'm definitely again. If this is someone that hurt this person over here and she's not chasing anymore, this is why. And you know why. You know what I'm saying? So if you're looking, trying to find out where this person is at with you, nowhere. <laughs> nowhere. This person has healed, heart is healed, is positively working on other things in their life 
no more challenges. They're looking for um, people that are looking for them. Period. They want love. And that's on period. And again, so... It's saying just like they're saying just put the body to rest. Like just put the body to rest. So there's like I'm what I'm getting right here for my baby girl or whoever this young gentleman is over here. It's like put your mind and your body to rest. Like you did the right thing this time. Uh I really do feel like there's someone that's going through a situation where they're alone because they're still purging. Cause it's like you know what you want. And you know, and it's like, I, I feel like you know what you experienced and you know what you went through and you know what you want this time. So put your mind and your body to rest. Allow your body and your heart to heal. There's a lot of positivity coming towards you. You don't have to argue and you don't have to fight for it. It's going to be pure, honest communication with people honestly are on the same page with you. You don't, you don't ever have to... Make yourself look ridiculous. Allow yourself to be no fool for nothing or nobody. Stay on your path. Stay in faith. You know your place. You hear me? Pat yourself on the back. This is this is the best. This is the best I could have ever seen anybody ever done. Cause I'm gonna tell you what I have most definitely been in a situation very similar and. It took me some time to, especially when, listen, when someone got you wrapped up in that, in a situation like, <laughs> listen, you said I'm fighting that demon off. I will not, I will not invite that into my house under no circumstances for nothing and nobody. I'd rather be the fuck alone. Point blank period. So listen, okay. So this is y'all reading. I hope y'all enjoyed this. I know I was long winded, but y'all know how I do. I'm gonna give you love. So y'all hit that like button. Y'all make sure that y'all like, share, subscribe. If this video resonated with someone that you felt like needed to hear this, especially the end of part, because y'all need to like give yourself flowers, please. Give yourself flowers, and you are always remember you're always the best. When you are the one that they're watching because you decided not to be the fool. Chasing. You hear me? I love you. Peace.